Sam. Um, that's ten defeats in the Premier League now. People have talked, talked about the Champions League. Is it is it realistic to be qualified for the Champions League losing that many games? Ah, after these two months, I would um, go into that approach. Uh, we have seen that we have done lately very good. Um, now we have some setbacks. <laughs> also today, uh, we could have won this game. Even we, sh we should have won this game uh, because the team showed uh, great character. I think we had two slow starts in both halves. Uh, second half definitely was a big loss to, to lose Casemiro. Um, there uh, we, we lost some, some say stability in the team and we conceded in that moment uh, also a goal at very affordable and then we fought ourselves back in the game. So I have to graduate the team by showing big character and then we went for the win and but yeah there was by the end we, we let them slip away. We was it too soon for Marley Paulson? It looked like he was struggling a bit out there. I won't focus and I wouldn't say that. And it's, it's, um, I think he had some good actions. I think it was a reasonable performance. And, and it was, um, it's never easy, in, especially when there's a slow start. But as I said, he had some, some good actions. Uh, he was reliable in, in his job. Um, so I wouldn't say so. I mean, for all the great character you may show in fighting back when you did fall behind, what did you think of the performance up to that point? Because the Fulham goalkeeper wasn't exactly having needed the performance of his life. Uh, uh, I think Ghana, where we beat the goalkeeper by uh, getting a ball from the line. Uh, we beat him ball on the post from Diogo. So we had our chances before half, uh, before half time, and so also. Did they, to be fair. What? So did they, to be fair. No, they had chances as well. Yeah, I have seen Iwobi. Uh, so uh, we had uh, we create our chances. Um, I have seen uh, it was a brilliant chance, but uh, unfortunately Bruno and uh, Resford stuck stuck on each other by a big uh, great pass from Casemiro. Uh, that was probably the best chance we created before half time. Uh, but so we had our uh, chances, and so and we beat Leno. But hey, he was lucky by having a player on the goal line. Jamie, I am. Uh, basically, a year ago, you were in the Carabao Cup final, you won an upwards sort of, yeah. uh, direction in the league. You made the FA Cup final. You know, in this position, what, what's the difference this season? Why do you think you're not as good, basically, as you were last year? What's happened? Yeah, <laughs> but he, you know. Uh, so we had some setbacks <laughs> that injuries, for example, would that be a major? Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's the truth. <laughs> I think on uh, we don't have a left fullback. Um, then with dropout of Casemiro, there's a, uh, it's a big dropout uh, for us. Alicia Martinez, um, we have in the front. So yeah, but still we have. Uh, players, we have a squad, had to deal with it, and also today uh, we could have won this game, as that we should have won this game uh, by the end, but because the team showed great character, and we have to do it with, the, with those players, and uh, we have had a good run, now we have to recover from the setback, look forward, and prepare the next game, get ready for this, and do better as today, and especially in a matter of result. Can you recover the eight points to Villa then in fourth place, do you think? Uh, I said, from January on, we are finals. And now we, we won many finals, now we lost one final. There's a lot of talk this week that Sir Jim Radcliffe speaking has been on the future of the club. Do you, do you feel that it's in the right, going in the right direction still after a setback like this? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not that opportune after so after one de defeat. You have to see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture uh, it looks very good. So yeah, we have to catch up uh, in... In, in certain positions, so uh, get the injuries back uh, because uh, then we will be more in balance and then uh, that is one thing and that will um, uh, also strengthen the squad and also the strength of the squad uh, are in the transfer windows and you see uh, there are um, uh, coming up many good players and um, uh, real high potential players 
So they will be uh, getting better and better. So definitely we are in the right direction. And so when we have the place of the, the squad available, uh, we have a very good team. Carl. Mr. Tanak, you often say when your players are unavailable, it's hard to establish the right routine. When that happens, is the thought to make your other players learn the routine? Or is that, do you ever consider changing what the routine is in order to make it easier? No, no. But, uh, they, uh, they know what the routines are, but and definitely uh, things are changed. And uh, not everyone is. Uh, when other players coming in, they have different identities. They have different skills, uh, and um, uh, and that is what we have to. Um, uh, uh, we have to adapt as a team or with that. Uh, but the routines, the principles, uh, they they still the same, and. Uh, I think we had today we had we had our good slots and as I say after a difficult sl uh, and slow start both half we came in a game and uh, by the end we deserve to win uh, but uh, then you have to take the win uh, by by my, uh, by net and score goals and not let them uh, break and uh, it was very avoidable. When you say adapt, but your routine has been the same. How do you what did, what did that take? How do you do the adaptation without making a routine change? Because they have the principles from uh, the way where we play. And so they know what to do. Everyone knows what to do in their position. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.